Hello guys, hope you're doing well. As always, if you are new to my channel, I would request you to subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Okay, so today we are going to draw a 3D mechanical component uh, whose drawing is being shown to you over here. Okay, and if you look at this component, it has basically all the basic features that are that we can use in from any CAD software like extrusion, uh, basically rounding, chamfering, and uh, basically creating rib ribs. And everything we can do in uh, in a CAD software. The software that we have to use will be Creo and uh, let's start uh, modeling this uh, basic fundamental uh, mechanical component on Creo. Okay. So when we uh, press it over here you can see that this is basically the interface of uh, Creo. You have to basically uh, select uh, the, this button new and here basically since we are doing part modeling 3D part modeling we will select this and we can write the any file name here whatever you want also and we use the fundamental default template to make things easy for us and this type is solid it's a solid model okay so here we have three datums uh, of uh, basically three planes and you can consider it as cubes faces okay in which we have a front face a side and a basically top okay so first of all if you look we have to construct what is called as a base plate so in order to construct what is known as a base plate, uh, we will basically select, uh, we will go to the extrude command and we will select this thing, okay. And once we select uh, this as the base, okay, we can select any depending upon our choice. So we select this as the base, okay. Once we select this, we will basically go to this uh, icon for the sketching, sketching basically. So once we go, the sketching has been generated. And here we can basically use a command which is center rectangle okay and uh, if we press uh, uh, over here in the exactly in the center of the two axes you can see a rectangle is being generated okay and we know the let length is basically 66 and the depth is 42 okay so we go over here and we say so we see we see here the length is basically 66 and we select it and we make it more easy to see and we can see this and this is actually uh, in the drawing what it was basically 42 so this is 42 and we enter it okay and we know the depth of this uh, base plate is basically 12 okay so when we say okay you can see that uh, this base plate has been generated by the software okay this base plate has been generated but you know it is basically very very uh, higher on okay so we can say so here it is okay so you can see this base plate has been generated in the software okay now once this is being done uh, we can basically see how it looks in when we get out of the command it will be look like this okay and we say that uh, it is okay and we have selected it and we say it is okay now we go to see other features the other feature is the feature of chamfer of 12 by 12 so let's see where the feature is this is called the chamfer feature okay we press the chamfer feature and here the dimension is already 12 so we basically do not need to do anything we can press this line and we can basically press the shift button and press this line and we can see how the chamfer looks it looks fine so we can select this also and you can see that the base plate is been uh, created now what we do is basically we going to select this thing the back one uh, we have to draw this semicircle and the bottom of the semicircle till it intersects with the base plate and you can see the dimensions are basically uh, total is 60 we have to minus 12 so it would be 48 and uh, basically the depth is basically 12 and the uh, width is 42 okay so we have to be very very about the dimensions to draw it very very uh, accurately so what we do now is basically we have to again go to that because we want to basic command is extrude and we basically select this once we select this one uh, now we basically have to create our specific uh, references let's go to the uh, basically sketch sorry sketching sketch view and once the sketch view has been generated 
we have to create references so that we can have the lines or the rectangles accurately placed where we want to. So let's select this icon which is the references icon and we can basically select this line and if you want we can select this line and we can close it up. Now we are interested in creating a rectangle whose width is 12 and whose uh, depth is basically uh, 42 and height is 48. So what we can do is basically we can create a rectangle but that rectangle has to be starting from it has to be a corner rectangle okay so let's see this point and we close it somewhere here and uh, we basically are interested in basically the, uh, the depth is basically 12 we can say it is the 12 depth and we also know what is going to be our height we can select the height when we say over here you can see the extrusion has been done but you see the height as 27 but our height has to be 48 because out of 60 if we minus 12 depth of the base plate it will be 48 so let's do it we can say this is 48 and we enter it and you can see where uh, that software has generated that depth of 48 for us. You can see it very clearly. Okay. Is how it looks like? It looks like this. Okay. So it is okay now. Now once it is okay, we can basically go again and create what is called as a uh, that semicircle of rounding command. We can use the round command and we press this button. And uh, we know for the rounding, the radius has been defined as how much? The radius is 21. So basically, just select this line, press the shift button, and press this line. And uh, just uh, rectify the radius as they have given us the radius as 21. And if you look at it, if this is our radius, uh, we can again basically see how it looks like let's select do it again the rounding and uh, basically select this line and uh, press the shift button and select this line and once it has been done uh, you can see how it looks like looks fine and uh, we can accept it and the radius is 21 just accept it and it is okay so, so we have done and uh, this is the shape which has been generated let's see what we have to do for this thing the rib the, which is a triangle we'll use uh, try to simply generate it without the use of the rib command otherwise for difficult uh, places ribs are being used at reinforcement and uh, the software has a special command for rib also okay but we will do it try to in the because as it is our first drawing we'll try to do it in a very very simple way okay so again what we can do is we again try to uh, use our extrude command and we have to select a specific plane and let's see this is going to be our plane and again you know what we have to do is we have to select the sketch view and this has been created but you know the software does not know where the lines are where to have to place the line rectangle we have to use the references so let's use the reference 1, reference 2 and the reference 3. Once it is being used, you can just close it down. And now we can basically use our specific line command. You can say that this is here and you can say it's here and then it's here and then it is here. Once this line command is there, basically we can go for the dimension and we have to be very careful what is actually the height the height has been defined as 42 so we can basically write it as 42 and enter and you can see that uh, the height has been increased and once that is being done you can see just shift it up and we can basically select this oh this is being big uh, this is the uh, has been created but it, its uh, depth is 48 but what our depth is basically 12 so you can go here 
and you can basically press 12 and you write uh, basically enter but again if you look at it it is not symmetric it is not symmetric so what we do in order to make it symmetric we go here to the various options of the depth what kind of depth you want not variable two next through all we want a symmetric okay so when we do symmetric you see now how it is exactly in the middle of the plane and dividing half by half and we can see how it looks like it looks fine okay so this is the model that has been generated and uh, if you it looks fine then you can accept it so now it has been accepted the model has been uh, created and you, the actual model was this one it was this one and ours are this okay so if you want to make this model more beautiful you can use other options as well okay just like this if you want it uh, to be uh, anything like this we want to make it like this so what you do is you basically You have to select it uh, select it and uh, press it And here it is so this is more realistic color if you want it has taken it up the same model okay so just to beautify it nothing uh, so this was our actual picture and uh, now basically we can say that uh, we have successfully created this model okay so i hope uh, uh, this simple model assistance will be beneficial for you uh, thanks a lot and you have a good day